I am very excited to present to you two brand new glitter and gilded card kits. Now you may remember the first ones that we released um, really not very long ago, but these follow the same format. So the format is you have one sheet printed on gilded gold. This happens to be Christmas bouquets. You have another sheet printed on silver glitter, gilded. And then you have another sheet, and let's get in closer to see this. This is printed on white glitter cardstock, and you can just see how beautiful this is. Hot diggity. Now, these are need to be cut out. However, if you want, you can use our cutting dies. So we have designed them to fit. So this has some art shapes. Whenever you see that, you can use the nested arches. That's going to work perfectly because we made sure they did. Now, if you have circles, uh, they will fit out of our circle and scallop dies. That works nicely. Same thing with the ovals. They will fit. Looks like this one uses all of them, doesn't it? And then also, these shapes like this, they're beautiful, aren't they? Well, they come from our eight labels for your greetings cutting dies. That's an older cutting die, so you're gonna get lots of use. Now, you can cut them out with scissors, and the ones that are straight edges, that's what we recommend. But if you wanna save yourself some time and energy, the cutting dies will work nicely. Now, in addition to these three, glitter and gilded, you will also get five patterned papers. Now, these are printed on cardstock. So as you can see, this has three in the reds and two in the green. And then there's also 45 cutout greetings. There they are. And not even done yet. There's also the straight line dazzles. Now there are 34 of them on this sheet. So we always um, give them first to the design team and then they do a whole variety of projects and I'll share some of those with you. But um, Teresa has done some wonderful things too. Now in the second group, this is Christmas scenes. And as you can see, it's the same idea. So you get them in the silver gilded, in the gold gilded, and in that gorgeous glitter, just gorgeous. There are also five sheets. You can kind of see them right there in blues and greens. And then you're going to get also the cutout greetings. Whoops, you'll get them right side up also. This will be on cardstock. And then you're going to get the fancy border dazzles in silver. Same thing, we're going to give you ideas on the packaging, because that's just the kind of people we are at Hot Off the Press. Um, but we've got some wonderful things to share with you today, so please come play with us. We're going to start with the Christmas bouquets, and Teresa has used the silver um, gilded sheet, so you can see that she has die cut this out using the arch. But what I love that she did, now by the way, this is a five by six and a half inch card. So she started with that. And she did use the uh, dotted paper uh, first, so she cut that. By the way, all of the measurements are down below in the, so just look at the cards, click on that image, and you will see the instructions. It's gonna be over on the right side of your screen. You can print them off if you want, or you can just take a look. Um, sometimes you can know just by looking at the card, but sometimes it's just nice to have those measurements. So first she put that uh, red dot down. Then she took our oval doilies. Now these are a generous size and you get a whole bunch of them in the package. So this is how big. And you might think, you know, gosh, that's way, way too big. But Teresa has a good eye for this. Now, the other thing I'm gonna share with you is how she attached it. Because it's a doily and it's got all of these holes, it's kind of tricky if you're using a liquid glue or kind of maybe any glue. So what she uses is sticky specs. Now the sticky specs um, come in this size. They ha Normally it's an A4 size, so it's bigger, but they ran out of it, so they had to substitute. You get the same amount. And what's great about sticky specs, if you are not familiar with them, 
you want to become familiar with them, is that they have a liner. So let me pull this out. So you would first take your doily and trim it to fit. So Teresa's placed hers here. You know, trim it to fit just as you want it. And then take the sticky specks, pull back the liner. There are a million, I don't know how many there are. There are tons and tons of micro dots on here. So you place your um, product right on the sticky speck area. So I had that backwards, didn't I? And just gently press it down. You don't have to go very hard, just gently, because they're gonna lift right up. Keep this because you can use it again and again and again and again and again, just lots and lots. So then position this and it's going to stay nice and flat. None of it's going to poke out. It's going to be really easy. I have to say, I love the doily in with the look of other pattern paper that she used and the Christmas bouquets. So you've got that down. Then she took the other paper and cut a piece. I think it's an inch and a half, but you can see in the instructions. Now she did add a couple of things, and this is one thing. This is called Pillar Box Mary Cardstock. Period. Let me see if that's right. Um, pillar Box Red. And it is the shiny, as you can see. And she matted that that piece of the pattern cardstock on it and glued it over onto the right side of the card. Again, letting that white card show through. Very pretty. Then she um, foam taped that arched piece. She did use um, the red ribbon set and there is a shear in there. So she's wrapped that and zotted a bow on top. She did take these. This is the Pinks and Purples Diamond Sparkles. They have gold on the top of them, and she just put it on top of that bow. Really pretty. Now, as I showed you, there are 45, I think it is, greetings. So she just cut it out. You can use your paper trimmer and glued it here, but foam taped it on this side because this is foam tape, so you want it to be even. And that's the front of the card. I mean, really simple. And what a wow look. Then on the inside, she's done something similar. This is using the poinsettia cardstock that's in the package. She did mat it on that pillar box red. I don't know why it's called pillar box, but nonetheless. And then she put another piece of that same doily, so added it with the um, sticky specks. Then she used those arch dies again, let me pull them out, to cut out this piece, but then to go a little bit larger to have a mat out of it, out of the red dot. So that's nice. That's just been glued down. The circle was die cut and glued down, a little bow. And the winter warm wishes is foam taped at the top there. So how pretty. You've got it looking very white and red on the outside with that pop of silver. And on the inside, much more red. I love all the different shades. Really pretty. So that is our first card. And let me show you what she's done with the second one. Now this is an interesting easel card. And let me show you what this looks like. So what she did, let me scoot that out of the camera. In fact, well, let's get a little bit closer. So this, again, starts out with our six and a half by five inch card. She did round the corners with a punch. You can do that or not, makes no difference. But then she cut one and a quarter inches off the right side, one and a quarter inches off the left side, leaving this center area. And I, it's such an easy thing to do, but such a great look. So in order to make an easel, you know that the front of the card has to be folded and scored and folded. So that's what she did. She just took this, brought it to, but not over the fold, and used the bone folder to really go over that to make it a really tight fold, and that worked nicely. Now you can see that she's got the red dot, just little pieces there. And then she took, and you'll remember, as I said in the beginning, that there are dazzles in here. And these are the uh, straight line. In fact, that's our new dazzles. The straight line where you get a wider one and then really narrow ones. So you can see that she put a 
you can do it like this, a, a, a wide one at the top, and then at the bottom, a wide one with a narrow one just right above it. It'll look more pronounced on the inside of the card. Then this is out of the glitter, that gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. I hope you can see it because it's wonderful. She cut, die cut it with the arch. Uh, simply glued the bottom of it to the bottom of her card. And she did foam tape this piece. Now, you'll notice there's some extra gold there. So she did use the gold cardstock that we have just to add a little bit more bling. And of course, it really goes with the dazzles. So that has been foam taped. She did go into the red uh, ribbon set and just zotted a little knotted ribbon right there. Then on the inside of her card, it just has those poinsettias all over it. And I love the fact that um, even though this has got a black background, it really plays nicely with the dots. And of course, that's the idea. Now, that was uh, uh, cut a little bit smaller than our card and glued to cover the whole inside. Again, the same thing. In fact, these line up perfectly, as you can see. That's something Teresa always does is um, on the inside, there's the wide one and a wide one and a narrow. You can see that it's all lining up so everything looks coordinated and professionally done as it is. This piece was also matted on the gold metallic as was this um, greeting. So both of them, this is foam taped. This was then again matted on white and simply glued. And you have, you have to do this on foam tape because you want that to hold the easel up. And it does a really nice job. So when you open this, you have a greeting here, but when it's standing, that second greeting is uh, kind of hidden, but the first greeting is right there. Now, this is what Teresa did with the uh, Christmas bouquets. I'll just briefly show you what the design team did. And goodness, this has got something on it. And here we have, this is out of gold, so we didn't see that. This is the uh, triple step card. You can, we either have uh, the die cut cards, and isn't that pretty? So they're just all placed, so you can place them vertically or horizontally with those bouquets. Here is with what, um, see these were done by Debbie. This is with the um, glitter one. And here is what she did with the foil. I just want to point out how clever to cut strips of the green sprigs and put the uh, straight line dazzles on them. Very nice. Also straight line dazzles around there. So the arch with a rectangular backing. Teresa did an arch with an arch backing. So you can do lots of things. Okay, now we're going to switch places and go into our Christmas seasons, our Christmas scenes, excuse me. And let me show you what Teresa has done. Now this again is our five by six and a half inch card. Thank you, Jeanette, for getting in closer. Now what she has used is the, um, let's see, this is the gold. Yes, the gold pieces. So let me pull that out and show you. Now, what I thought was interesting is that I think of this the way it is right here, but Teresa turned it this way. So I think that's really fun. That's a great way to go. So let me show you what she's done. She first uh, took her card and she cut the snowflakes to the size that you'll see in the instructions. She did mat it on the gold cardstock, and then she glued it to the front of her card. Then she took the square cutting dies. Now we haven't talked, excuse me, the rectangular ones. We haven't talked about those. You don't need them, except you kind of do in this case. So let me show you what she's done. So she took that layer, so you've got the card, the gold and the cardstock, and she ran it through her die cutting machine with the rectangle, the straight edge rectangle placed right here. Now, that's three layers of things, and two of them are, are actually three of them are cardstock. So it did take running it through several times. In fact, she said even with that, she found that she had a really nice impression, but she had to go back with her pen knife 
Remember the pen knife, how wonderful that is, and a ruler, and just cut that out. So um, you, you may have, uh, just so that you know that that's, it's going to take that. Now what I love that she did, and I have to tell you, I've not seen this before. She cut another frame a little bit larger than the one that she has, the opening, but then she cut another uh, scalloped one smaller and look what she did. She put the scallop and glued it on top of the straight frame. Usually we think of the scallops on the outside like this one is, but she put it right on top. And it's just so elegant, so lovely. Plus you get that little extra dimension, really, really nice. So that becomes our opening. Of course, we're going to put something on the inside, but we'll ignore that for right now. So this is one of the circle pieces. She did mat it on the uh, scalloped, also done with those same dies. Okay, the Tis the Season is one of the cutouts and it is matted on the gold. Okay, now we're going to go to the inside. The inside, look at that, isn't that fun? So you've got all the dark, the dark blue on the front, but when you open it, you've got the white paper with the blue snowflakes. So she's got this piece. She did mat it on blue. Now, where she got the blue was out of our brand new Christmas Aglow cardstock. You can see all the colors that are there, and that just worked very nicely. And look how perfectly it matches. I'd love to tell you we planned that, but I think it was a happy accident. Okay, so again, as I said, she uh, she die cut it out. You can just cut it whatever you want. She matted it on the gold and matted it on the Christmas aglow, glued that inside the card. Look at these strips that she cut, and she did do a, um, a V at the end. And then the Merry Christmas to All cutout was also matted on the gold. So just a really pretty card. Okay, that is our first of the Christmas scenes, and I think they're really fun, a very different look for the season. Okay, the last card I have for you is this, and this is also from the Christmas scenes. Isn't that pretty? Now, obviously, now this is our six and a half by five card, same cards. You can see that she did the uh, dot first, and then had um, this piece a little bit smaller. Then she took the uh, check, matted it again on the Christmas aglow. So that green is also gonna match perfectly. I think the reds will too. Matted it there. And before she glued it down, she wrapped it with a piece of the ribbon out of the green ribbon set. And doesn't that look nice? It too is a shiny ribbon. Then she glued that on top, just right next to the uh, dot paper, uh, did a bow and zotted that. Now she used the silver studs from our friends at Hunky Dory to go right there. This is a cutout, as you would imagine. Then this piece was die cut out using the eight labels for your greetings. So you can see these have gotten, gotten a little messed up a bit, but it's this shape, it's going to fit perfectly. And foam taped it right there. So you've got all three greens right there. The inside, same paper that she used on the front, matted it on the Christmas aglow. This ribbon is going vertically. This one is horizontally, same ribbon. Just knotted right there. And then she has cut this piece and then use the eight labels for your greetings to die cut that. And this is foam, this is glued straight, this is foam taped, and this is also foam taped. So sending holiday cheer. Now, might as well share with you what the design team also did. These that I'm going to show you are on the package. So here we have that oval done twice out of the glitter and again out of the paper. Here are the dazzles that were used in the, um, in the package. Here is another that's using that same little truck that Teresa used. And then here is, I think this is just my favorite, I love it, with the candles and the lantern that Teresa also used. So all of these are um, available too. So as I said in the beginning, we have Christmas scenes and we have Christmas bouquets. These are our newest out of the glitter and gilded card collections. Uh, yes, there will be more. And um, 
Teresa, thank you so much. Just a wonderful, wonderful job. If you are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, please like us. <laughs> maybe not in that order, but in any order you like, then come on over to paperwishes.com. We have a money saver on these. And, um, you know, with the paper in there and all of these glitter and gilded pieces, plus the bonus of the dazzles, there's just a wonderful thing. You might as well get a money saver. It's on the right side of our screen. As I said, don't forget, the instructions are down below. You'll see them on all four cards that Teresa did. And if uh, this is something brand new to you, uh, stay tuned because we're going to have lots more. Uh, as I said, thank you, Teresa. And I want to thank you for being the best part of Paper Wishes and for being part of our Paper Wishes family.